What's going on, Workforce? Brian here. Chris here. And today we've got a lot of Final Fantasy XIV news to get you guys caught up on, optional sales, quest changes, and so much more. Chris, why don't you take us into our first uh, update, which is going to be the, reflect the Reflections the reflections of Crystal site update. We have new images and new details with this website. Now, when you first open this website, it's going to try to open the trailer. Um, so yeah. prepare yourself for that. Uh, you can close it, but just be aware it's an immersive experience. Uh, and I do want to, first of all, with this video, say a huge thanks to our members. Um, the Dollar Game Club for just 99 cents. A ton of you have chosen to support us. You don't have to. Just sharing our videos, commenting, watching our videos. We appreciate it. Um, but a few of you have gone above and beyond. I just wanted to say thanks to that. Um, it's, it's made a big difference for us. So with 5.3, this is basically going to walk you through if you've missed any of our live letter coverage, if you missed the live letter itself, if you haven't seen the trailer yet, um, this is going to get you introduced into everything that's being added. This is an enormous patch and this patch is coming in three enormous parts. Um, and this is going to help lead you into that main scenario, guys. This is the end of the Shadowbringer story, possibly the greatest expansion of any MMO we will ever get. Um, it would be hard to beat this. <laughs> it's going to uh, be hard to beat this to the point where I'm kind of like, I don't know how they could do it. I it's hope... a phenomenal story. Um, you don't have to have any prior experience with the 14 lore to enjoy it. Um, that might al allow a deeper enjoyment, but I came into it having skipped a huge number of cutscenes in prior expansions, and I did just fine. Um, and this this marks the end of that. So if you've been on the fence of getting into this game and you didn't and you want you're one of those people that doesn't want to watch a show till it's ended so you can binge it, um, this would be the point where you can get into this game and play the Shadowbringer story straight through in one incredibly long sitting. I love how the site's like mystery trial. Oh, what could it be? <laughs> I don't know. Like that's the that's so cool. It's just like I wonder. I wonder later if they'll update this. Like if there's some kind of like. Oh, I hope not, because I think that it's going to be a pretty big spoiler for the story um, if somebody hasn't been following along. So when they did the live letter, they also showed off like different things within the game that's coming. So we know we're getting the next uh, near raid and we know that it's connected to uh, the dwarves. Uh, they're essentially getting kicked out of Calusia because of memory issues, which is funny. Uh, and now they're going to be uh, heading out to Lakeland and we can see here. The uh, Puppets Bunker is where we're going to be going for the near raid. And they have a special, extra special site. We're on a special site for uh, for 5.3. They have another special site for the Puppets Bunker regarding... Uh, Which special site is a special site. <laughs> yeah. How many sites do you have? Oh, man. I am... Um, so then as a part of this, as a part of the update, you kind of see where 5.3 ends and 5.3.5 begins with uh, Save the Queen, Blades of Gunhildr, uh, and then the Bojan Southern Front. That's why I always keep calling it Frontlines is because it's... Literally, like, because that front, it just it tricks up my brain. And we've got some images here. That's our this. game within a game. Yeah, exactly. Yep. The, uh, then, oh, man, they, they, with the site, it's, it's jumping from 535 to 53 back again. So we can yep. see here, uh, this is such a beautiful image. I think I need to use this for the thumbnail. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Um, they, uh, updated the site recently because we kind of did a deep dive on, uh, you know, what was basically included with this. So you can so, kind of see, go ahead. Full hollows up there is um, unreal trials, guys. They're going to scale. They're going to begin scaling old trials. We're going to get just one for now. Uh, they're going to scale old trials up so that at the current level cap, you can enjoy them. It won't make them harder or different. It'll just take you back to that original experience so that you can play them without sinking down your skills. Um, you can do them with current rotations and you can do them with current players. Not everybody likes going back to old content. So this will kind of make that current. And there's going to be unique loot locked about it. And this is going to be limited time content. It'll be brought in just for this patch, and then it'll kind of go away. So um, I, this this site goes over all sorts of cool stuff that they're adding. I'm going to jump down to the bottom here because, like, we have definitely new images. So they're adding new mounts. Uh, you can see we've got a new unicorn mount with a green mane. And I don't know if this is somewhat tied to Unreal. Like, what? I don't know what the, the mount that they're showing and highlighting here. Could be a Boja. Could be Boja, could be something of that nature. I like the minion because we've seen this boss minion. We've seen this boss already, and I love that we've got a little a little minion for her as well. And this is just fantastic with the dwarf. <laughs> Talio. <laughs> I assume that's our minion. Yeah, I would assume so. That's probably coming from the crafting, you think, mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so guys, you can check out the uh, this main site. Let me go ahead and full screen it, and let's jump back into the news itself. 
Regarding the main scenario, I'm going to pull up the article. Chris, uh, do you have that article up on your screen? I'm looking at your screen. Okay, cool, cool. Um, here's what you guys need to know. Because this was actually really, this is that when I saw that they were doing this, I was like, oh, this has been great for Chris. <laughs> Especially when you got into uh, Shadowbringers and you were like, who is this guy? Am I supposed to know this Grahatia guy? Um, but you guys, for the changes, this is happening on the 11th. Chronicles of a New Era, Crystal Tower, Light of Hope. And one of the following side quests, My Little Chocobo, uh, or you know, for any of the um, uh, different grand companies, you have to do these uh, in order to participate in the uh, in the Shadowbringer story. So they're making changes overall with uh, with all this stuff. So they're making the, the Crystal Tower required as a part of going into Shadowbringers, which I was surprised they didn't do that already. I mean, you either have to restructure main scenario. The, the problem is now they've worked... They've redone the experience so that um, you'll no longer have to get spun off the main story as a new player if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. There used to be these points where you gapped out, and that's where the community would recommend you fill it with various content that kind of helps round out your experience. Now they're saying main story is going to be a straight shot. You do not have to get off that highway a single time if you don't want to. Um, and so with that, there are going to be things that get missed. And so you've got to go make those required, or players are going to say, like, I don't really understand why this is happening. Like I've never interacted with a beast tribe. I never did the crystal tower. I never like there's, there's all these other things that like do kind of round out your understanding of the world. So I, I think it makes sense. Um, five, three is going to be a big change to the mm -hmm. quests. It, yeah, exactly. I was going to say the, uh, basically if you're playing the game right now, make sure that those are knocked out. Absolutely. And then you if can, for some reason, you're in the middle of them, knock them out now. Uh, any player that's read this, there'll be plenty of groups for them, especially as the patch gets closer. Um, if you wait, that's going to get harder and harder. Oh, man. Have you seen the uh, the special site for the, the upcoming Moonfire Fair? I have Dude, not. Look at that shark, man. <laughs> New race confirmed. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, uh, they're deleting Lalafell and then they're adding in uh, shark people. In this regards. So from Wednesday, August 12th uh, to August the 26th, uh, you can participate in the summer, the summer shark blowout kicks off in Limza Lemenza, And uh, you just need to have at least level 30. And the quest is called a fish too far. And you can look at some of the rewards that you can get. You can get some nice little hula skirts and some like nice little sun hats and a big old thing it's not of the candy. shirt and the sunglasses they showed off. I'm wondering if there's other ways that the you can. That. I'm wondering if there's other ways that they uh, that those unlock, um, which is cool because it's like we thought we assumed that it was with the summer event. It could be with the rising. It could be who knows the rising. But yeah, we can kind of like you can see the different uh, pieces. But they have the hula, the flame dance emote is what they're calling it, and that's going to be fantastic. I love emotes. Like I like emotes and mounts are my currency. Um, not so much glamour outside of the, the fact that the sunglasses, there's a couple pieces I'm, I'm chasing after, but as a, you don't see any Ronso or Vieira here guys. So just watch out for the hats. We don't know if they're going to be compatible with the new race. I never realized just how frustrating that was until I bought a cowboy hat and I'm like, Oh, it doesn't work on this race. And then I started thinking about Fantasia, but then I was like, no, I love Ronso. I love Ronso too much. Um, guys, be sure to check out the uh, the, Moon, uh, the Moonfire Fair, which returns on August 12th. We'll have also the Rising that's coming up, but they don't have an announcement on that just yet. Announcing the Adventure Celebration Sale. Uh, looks like some things are on sale in this case. Do they have prices listed? 30% off. 30% so um, so off. Thirty percent off, whatever it is. Keep in mind, uh, with the Boja, they're gonna they're gonna make all um, the mounts the same speed in there. So if you've been like, oh, well, I should probably pick up that bike since it's faster, um, that's going to have been fixed. Uh, the whale requires that you're less of a whale now by thirty uh, percent. It's such just a literal. Do you have money you'd like to give us? Well, we will give you an actual representation. Thank you for being a whale. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with that term. Uh, that is where somebody supports a game through heavy microtransactions. And they uh, they recently also updated the the site, so it's all now integrated to your Square Enix account. So you can believe it's got out. the whale thing as the thumbnail of that the optional tab. Yeah, he looks so happy. <laughs> <laughs> this game has a ton of, of microtransactions if you want them. They are all all cosmetic and all optional, but. Uh, there's there's apps you can download on your phone. You can give money. You can give money to Final Fantasy XIV any way you want. So we also have the news that there uh, the collector's edition digital upgrade adventure celebration sale has begun. So lots I of love sales. That games sell these. I love that games sell these. Yeah, 
because you play because I don't like the idea that I have to buy a collector's game, collector's edition to a game I don't know if I'll like. Right. It's one thing if it's an iconic game, like I bought the collector's edition of Breath of the Wild because I'm a huge Zelda fan. So even if the game turned out to be garbage, I would have still not regretted that. But if you're like getting into a brand new MMO, it's like, oh, how do I spring for that? So the the uh, the collectors, if you guys have never looked at these, the digital upgrade, this is where you literally just turn your purchase into a collector's edition for just mm -hmm. that Delta. So you get all the mounts, all the glamour, all the minions, all the little extra stuff. In this case, you can do, if you haven't done a single one, you can do the complete collector's edition upgrade what was $80 is now 40 so 50% off there. And then you could also, if you don't want to do that, you could do the Realm Reborn Collector's Edition upgrade, Heavensward, Stormblood, or Shadowbringers, each for same $10. Price. So, same yeah, same, well, same discount across the board, but it's that yeah. instead of, uh, like, let's say you had, a, like, ARR and Heavensward, but maybe money was tight for Storm uh, Stormblood, but you still want that mount, that Sildra mount. Uh, you can uh, you can do that for like ten dollars as opposed to spending forty and getting all four. So it's actually nine ninety nine times four is thirty nine ninety six. So I would <laughs> always purchase the nine ninety nine. Save yourself three pennies, guys. <laughs> uh, and then essentially from there you get that stuff to unlock. Um, as far as it goes, I think the uh, I like the Heaven's Word one with the Griffin far more than I like the Soldier. I'm just I guess maybe I'm just negative on uh. On Shadow uh, Stormblood, on Stormblood, it just kind of just you, you don't know. like our Stormblood mount? I don't. I the cloak on it's beautiful. <laughs> it's like all right, all right, guys. That's the news. That's what you need to know coming up for this week. By the way, I've seen some comments, some questions about like patch day. It's going to be twenty four hour maintenance. It means pretty much the tenth. Block the tenth off. You're not going to be pretty much able to play that day. It's going to come up early in the hours on the eleventh. Uh, some people were thinking that the 11th was actually patch day and you couldn't play for 24 hours. So just keep that in mind. Chris, is there anything you want to share before we wrap up this video? Uh, no, but definitely this is keep an eye on this site. We have several other seasonal events coming up. Um, we have a lot of content coming out with the patch. Honestly, after a big, long break, it feels like they have the rest of the year lined up. So um, definitely keep an eye on it. If there's anything you're waiting for, we have a lot of game coming your way. And for those of you who are patiently waiting Xbox, uh, we hear rumors that they were supposed to announce it at FanFest this year. So with all that being canceled, maybe we'll get some new news soon. Maybe digital FanFest. Uh, I wish they would. I think that'd be kind of fun. Or an in-game one, but I think that's a lot of work. Anyway, anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll probably, we probably came up with three topics right there at the end of this video for future videos. Thank you so much for watching. For Work to Game, my name's Brian. My name's Chris. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. Take care.